Hey guys, if you remember that triple tail from the other day, I was telling you that it's not very often that uh, I catch those and run into them. So I wanted to do something a little more special with it. I'm not that great of a cook. So we're gonna run over to my buddy Will's house. He's a chef from New York and he's got some really great ideas on how to cook that up. Um, we're gonna invite some friends over, have some drinks. You're not gonna wanna miss it, so stay tuned. cook this triple tail up but we got to go get some supplies first in the heap wrangler <laughs> dude this thing is gangster oh my god all right I've been coming here to get banana leaves for three years <laughs> they cut down will's banana leaf plug holy shit banana, banana leaf plug got arrested he's gone oh my god all right they probably got sick of people coming up and ripping the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be my guess. That is seriously the best banana leaf I've ever got. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's do this. Oh yeah, you pull the the rib out. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> Look out! What's that? Some of the grouper? This is the uh, oh, triple that's tail. the triple tail right there. Just a big fillet. We got the collar. I took the scales off the collar. Nice. So we're gonna split that. And cut that. So That'll go what? On the what is it about the banana leaves that is appealing for people to use? I've never cooked with them, so this is new to me. So really, it's better It's better almost on a charcoal grill because what it does is that you roll you roll the fish up and this is gonna steam. So it's the same idea as when you uh, grill corn still in the husk. Oh, okay. So it's not getting sense. direct, but on a charcoal grill, you'll, you'll still get like the smoky charcoal flavor without getting grill marks. And if you marinate it and put a little bit of veggie and everything inside the banana leaf, it'll steam the fish, mm. but you'll still get the smoky flavor. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Do you always split them like that completely? Like where they lay flat? Yeah. As much as you can? I do, just so that they can sit flat on the grill. I got you. Like that. I rarely flip them. I cook them through on the skin side. And then this one, I actually took the scales off so that I got you. we could eat the skin if we want. So I'm gonna marinate each one and then roll it up. But this one, I'm just gonna do salt, pepper, a little bit of butter, just so that we all get to see what triple tail tastes like as is. Beautiful, I like that. I don't, you think I should take off any of this blood on? Mm, I don't know, I haven't eaten it. It's been, <laughs> I haven't eaten triple tail since I was a kid, honestly, I don't catch a ton of them down here. I, in New York, I never really took the bloodline off anything. Down here is the first time I started. I'm not concerned about it. Jordan eats the skin and the bloodline on swordfish, so. <laughs> we, were, we were sitting there eating dinner, and I looked at his plate, and I'm like, where'd your skin go? He's like, oh, I eat it. <laughs> I was like, you eat the skin? He's like, please don't tell me I'm not supposed to. <laughs> this one is staying as is. These guys will marry you. Super secret marinade. <laughs> I love that stuff. <laughs> I've never put it on fish though, I will say. That is, that is new. <laughs> Alright, so on this one. 
So this is almost like a, uh, a Vietnamese dressing. It's like a sweet and sour. So it's lemon juice, honey. I never measure anything. Don't blame me. This is the other secret ingredient. Fish sauce. Smells disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> smells smells like death. Tastes amazing. <laughs> Perfect. You smell it? No. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like I'm in gym class. <laughs> That's awful. Yeah. It smells terrible. It's uh I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's fermented anchovies. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's what it is. Right. Will's giving us a rundown on the uh, the stuff. It's fermented anchovies, but if you cook it, it cooks. That smell cooks off, and it ends up just being. It leaves that just the flavor. Like umami flavor, like yeah, kind of salty, kind of fishy, kind of weird. <laughs> I've been afraid to cook with this curry. I don't know why it's intimidating to me, but <laughs> it's like it's so easy to overpower. It is, um, but this, like I said, so this will steam inside the banana leaf, and most of that will come off. Okay. And it'll just kind of mix with the liquid and drip out into the, into the grill itself. Beautiful. I dig it. So how long are we letting those sit? Not long. But not long on your watch. <laughs> oh man, this looks legit. Beautiful. Like an island tamale. <laughs> so then this one I'll fold in because it's got all the marinade. Oh yeah, I got you. What are you doing? Get the lizards. Get them. Get him? Oh god. Let's get these puppies on the grill. Is it pretty? Desert rose. Yeah, I just planted with some of those so yes, um, a couple days ago. Where are we going to the grill? To the grill. So you got two grills? <laughs> two you know? <laughs> I might need to use one of those. Two grills and one charcoal fireplace. Will doesn't mess around. So I turned down pretty low, like I heated everything up so this is nice and hot, but then once they go on, I keep it pretty low because I just want them to steam on there. Okay. And not burn through the paper, you know? You know? And this is that collar, right? And this is the collar. This I just From the triple tail. Straight oh. on, because we're not too worried about losing the skin on that. That looks beautiful. So that, has so many chambers and the cartilage and everything that it's big chunks of meat that are completely encapsulated by cartilage and bone. So that ends up being super juicy. You can almost not overcook those. It's like a chicken thigh. It has so much. Well, that's good for most people. Oh, <laughs> I like that sound. Pretty close to done. That guy all looks done. It's gorgeous. Got a light simmer on it. And these were definitely thinner pieces, so we'll take these off and take a look at them. It's unbelievable. Really? Twice. Oh my god. Our fly back. Yeah, that's just it. Like that. 
can see the steam rolling off it like the Battle of Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. The collars that were marinated in the soy fish sauce. And then you have, this one is the salad dressing, the Japanese salad dressing. This one's the curry. This is just butter and lemon, salt and pepper. And this is the soy uh, sriracha honey. Beautiful. Which one do you like, Jordan? Sit down. All of them. All of them. Babe? Um, Favorite? I like the collar. I like your choice. I'm going traditional. See, I like the traditional. It's a very a unique. Yeah. It's a very unique texture. I like it. I'm not gonna lie. I like the traditional a lot. The traditional, and then this is the soy. I per I personally like the curry. I don't know if I had the soy. Mm. I'm a curry guy. I'm Can you see all the smoke? I'm a <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Come all right, guys. I'm gonna drop my food. This is what happens when. You're concerned about the fish on the grill and not oh, no. the buns in the oven for the fish sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, no. All right. We're gonna open our buns? Like, Please subscribe, share, on. leave us your comments. Oh, We're gonna go. We're gonna make sure the house doesn't burn down. We're gonna go. We'll see you next time, guys. <laughs>